of the major focus for Samsung at the moment is the area of smart mobility. When we look from a memory point of view, we see an explosion of memory content in the car. We see an incremental growth of the infotainment and navigation systems, but it really begins to get exciting as we look at a whole digitization of the cockpit. And when we look at autonomous drive, we see an explosion of the compute requirement, and this will need a lot of high-speed memory to support it for the machine learning and AI. Additionally, if we look at that type of application, there is a requirement for a black box because everybody, of course, wants to know what happened. Worst case, you have to check afterwards. But even still, this data can be fed into machines with more deep learning, more AI, to help improve the whole process and get to an autonomous vehicle faster. If we look at autonomous drive, people believe there's going to be a revolution where today we're driving a manual car and tomorrow we have a fully autonomous car. But in reality, Autonomous drive is a learning process. Like we as children, learn to crawl, learn to walk. It's going to be a phase process. And Samsung has the tools to support each step of this phase. If we look at the accepted steps, we see that the beginning is driver assistance. We have already today adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency brake, and Samsung has basic DDR3 LP4 to support this functionality. When we move on, we're going to see a type of application which is highway assist. So you'll get to the highway, you can start your car into autonomous mode, and it will continue on the highway. For this, we're going to need higher definition cameras, but we're all going to see applications like radar and leader, all requiring more memory. And finally, if we look at the ultimate phase, which is that your car can drive in a city, we're obviously going to need to improve all of these sensors, but the bigger growth is going to come on the requirement for deep learning computing and AI.